All right, Shalom Rastafari, and greetings to the 12 tribes of Israel and whatever group or congregation those of I and I, um, black brothers and sisters called Negroes, blacks, and colored. This video is very important. It goes beyond just, say, Rastafari on that level because it's in my father's house. There are many mansions. So we want to touch on this right here, and as you see, this is a... Uh, this is the Shashimani page on the Wikipedia. Right, it needs some updates here and there, but it's very important for us to really understand prophetically the role that Ethiopia plays, especially to us as Rastafari. What most some of the black Hebrew Israelites might not even recognize is that the first Shashimani land grant administrator actually was from Montserrat, and he was a uh, a Hebrew, Ethiopian Hebrew. This is very, very, very important. And his name was uh, Mr. James Piper and his wife. Now, in 1967, an official um, Shashimani land grant administrator was appointed, and we find that the first Rastafari actually in Ethiopia was an African American whose name, it says, the first actual Rastafarian brother and fellow, fellow settler was right here, Gladstone Robinson, right, who was appointed on behalf of the organization as the Shashimani Land Grant Administrator. So that's I and I, African American, Judahite brother, the late Dr. Gladstone Robinson, all right? So we want to show you some of this information right here because as we go through this information, we begin to see the half of the story. Now that we have more of this information online, like right here, you can see it. So if we'll suggest that you go right here and look for it yourself, and you can read it, you know, and study it at your own pace on the Wikipedia page, Shashimani, right? Now we actually have to make a link for Malaku Bayan, a book, a reference, and this is a new publication that we have right here on the Malaku E. Bayan. Right, we are here to create a United States of Africa. The actual words of Dr. Malaku Emanuel Bayan is this man, the one who is the angel of his majesty to we as the lost sheep. It was those Afro American preachers and others in the community during the nineteen thirties that appealed to the king, the king of kings, Kadamawi Haila Selassie for an official representation, an official organization, and that became known as the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, all right? So that's for we, the black people of the world. It's not just a Rastafari thing, but it's the Rastafari that's been keeping the banner, the Ovesen that's been waving the banner, that's been going through the, the beatdowns and the persecution, because this is really part of our divine, an important part, a foundation of our divine heritage. And we really want to appeal this message to some of the, some of the faithful Hebrew Israelites because that's, that's part of, of what this is all about. But in order for us to understand some of the tribalism, some of what's going on today, you know, because we often hear some of our Jamaican brothers basically state that the only Shashimani land grant administrator was this brother, um, Solomon Wolf, right? And this is not to deny that the role of this this elder, this one of I and I elders right here, and we know this elder. We have met this elder on several occasions in the Ethiopian World Federation activities. He was and had the pleasure of working with him when the Haile Selassie Selective Speeches was published by the then um, Haile Selassie Local Number 1. So, so we, we, we recognize that. But let's recognize the full truth of the matter and also the role that this late elder, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, played in this this picture right here, all right? And we want to actually probably work on putting the two elders together so one can recognize that it was this elder right here, his appointment was for his brethren, his Jamaican brethren, the, the, the Rastafari of Jamaica were persecuted for a long time and even during the time of his imperial majesty, the British government was seeking to, um, seek in Ethiopia to tell the Jamaicans and the Rastafari that there was no land for them. You also have to recognize that there's different jurisdiction that the lost sheep are under in this present time. However, 
his appointment as a representative for his people did not abrogate the appointment of Dr. Gladstone Robinson or his authority in the organization. Let's get it right. So what we see right here is the Judahite, the one that was appointed officially by the organization for Judah. Now we'll have to show you that just briefly right here so you'll understand, you know, what's behind this picture. All right, you see right here, these are the, the 12 tribes according to the black Hebrew Israelites and according to I and I who are of the Beta Israel. You understand? So we recognize especially the first three to four tribes directly, but we're not discounting others. We can see the evidence of Judah being the so-called Afro-American Negro, as well as Benjamin being the so-called West Indian. Remember how that Psalm 68, 68 speaks about, and there is a, there's um, a little Benjamin with her ruler. You understand? We see that, that, that appointment of Dr. Gladstone Robinson by the organization as Imperial Majesty now having this brother right here represent his people was very important seeing that in, in that time Jamaica did not even have an embassy. In other words, being under the British government, they didn't want the blacks to really know of that connection. You understand that they had land. You understand that since even the American um, foundation of the organization, the African American Foundation, the EWF, is, is in different jurisdiction than the British West Indies and, you know, than, than, than where we find um, Benjamin. Now we have Levi. We can't forget Levi, Haitians. You understand the Haitian as well as Simeon, the Dominican, and so forth, and so on. So you can see this chart and there's other versions of it out there as well. We just want to show this to the eye of them. You know, because this is a very important part of knowing who you are. You understand, knowing who you are. This information is true and exact, even if many of our Israelitish brothers and sisters, you understand, all the brethren, the, the, the uh, we don't want to say project Jews, but, you know, a lot of them still are growing and learning. You understand, as they grow and learn and see the revelation of Christ and his kingly character, the big picture, the big connection. Even over here, a quote was made in, um, what was it, uh, Zephaniah. If you go to Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 9 to verse 10, you see where it speaks about from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. Remember the divine word that Ethiopia, or rather concerning Israel, that Israel, the throne of David, will never lack a man to sit on that throne. So there's been a continuous representative, a representative of the throne of David upon earth. That's the connection right there that a lot of our Hebrew Israelite brothers have not made. So that's another matter. We want to explain to you the connection of Judah, you understand, represented by Dr. Gladstone Robinson and the official aspect of the Ethiopian World Federation being the official Shashmani land grant administrator to his very to his very passing on and he appointed those who would succeed him as well in that responsibility yet that does not abrogate you understand the appointment of Solomon Wolf you understand because under overstand the political situation of Jamaica at that time and the other um, things that the British were doing to keep Jamaica out of that loop, to try to even have Ethiopians deny, or the emperor deny to them that there was land, fertile land for them. You understand? So they needed an official representative. Little Benjamin needed that official representative. So let us recognize, just as there's a Jamaican uh, sefer, there must also be an African-American or Afro-American sefer as well. All of the land has not been fully fully parceled out or given to the, their rightful ears. And that's us here going through this wilderness of North America. So it's a beautiful picture if you're able to receive it. Only ones who have some sort of menophic, you understand, in their heart cannot recognize, you understand, the unity if we would receive the divine word. Him being appointed Dr. Gladstone Robinson uh, as far as the official aspects of the organization does not exclude I and I brothers from anywhere in the diaspora. Because when we look at the big picture, you understand, let's understand the big picture. You understand, this is the most big picture. So Judah 
the so-called Afro-American Negro, of whom I and I am one and the Rastafari in particular, we have a crushing and an awesome responsibility. Yet we cannot deny that many of our Benjamite brothers, the Jamaicans and others, seeing the situation that they were put in by the so-called British Queen and, and that whole false monarchy that did not want them to even know that they had land and that they could come out of Babylon. So let's recognize the big picture and, you know, love to I and I Elder, love to Solomon Wolf, you understand, and may Dr. Gladstone Robinson, may his soul rest in peace in the bosom of I and I Father Abraham. But let's recognize there's still work to do, you understand, and we all have been authorized in the King of Kings, but let's not deny the accomplished, the finish, and the fulfilled work, you understand, or the proper authorization. You understand all the proper authorization. That I want ones to remember because some of the information we see out there, ones are trying to avoid that fact that Dr. Gladstone Robinson was officially appointed, and that appointment was still good throughout all of that time since 1967. You do not have the authority to take that away from I and I. You understand? And even if one has complaints or grievances from all that we heard, these were just shortcomings that most of us might have even worse. But in the authority of the Federation, being a soldier for this, we have to recognize. And, and this is one of I and I elders. So as our Benjamite Rastafari brothers love this elder Solomon Wolf, you know what I'm saying? Just recognize we also love Dr. Gladstone Robinson or Fikra Salase, and we recognize his authorization of I and I. And I and I can work together if we truly be the children of his imperial majesty. So that right there is, is, is the challenge to I and I. So check out some of this info up there. Check out our page right here on um, Malaku E. Bayan. Malaku E. Bayan right there dot spritz. You understand? And check out the new book right here as well. You and support the work of the Federation, but do your own homework. And, you know, right now we still are, you know, we've been put in a position of exile in the organization. You understand? And for the testimony of, of I and I elders' sake, we've been put in a position of exile. But you cannot rob I and I of I and I inheritance or the role that we play in it. You understand? Let's remember the lessons of judges. You understand? Yehuda Yikdem, Ethiopia Tikdem. And if you know what that means, then it is good. So, my brothers and sisters, um, check this out up here and also this page here. We're going to have to make a link right here. But um, the Rastafari and Shashimeni, I and I African-American elder, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, official appointment. You understand we have the paperwork and the documents as well. You understand? To, to also prove that and these documents are officially recognized, what we need to do is to get our house, our heads, and our hearts in the order, the new birth, you know, saying in His Majesty and His Christ. So, brothers and sisters, this is the next vid that I wanted to put up there. You understand? And and, and share some of this information, share some of this information with you all. Um, I was going to actually call this at first um, EWF um, EWF Land Grant, right? EWF Land Grant um, were there um, two administrators or were there more than two administrators, um, you know, Gladstone, the whole controversy that some have, and this is a controversy between Judah, Jehovah's, and Benjamin. But it does not have to be so, because even those elders, from all that we know, they were able to be civil. They were able to work together, Jehovah's, and for their people, for their brethren. And we do have specific brethren. We know about where we come from as Afro-Americans, we have specific brethren over here that we have to work for and towards their, their betterment because we are their representatives, just as Solomon Wolf working for his Jamaican brethren and, and his Rastafari brethren as well. So when we recognize who we be, you see, that's the main thing. We have to recognize who we be. So when it says what nationality, what nation, what tribe, you know, and out of where in the diaspora, do you come is very, very important because that would explain a lot of who's who, what goes on, so forth and so on, because there's deep roots. So we, we need to know I and I roots and to be able to act act on it. 
So, uh, Shalom Rastafari and um, Shalom Lekem, my brothers and sisters. Peace be to you all in the name of the King of Kings, in the name of Abba Kedus, Zion I, Holy Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMoshiach. Shalom.